In this video, I would like to demonstrate how to dynamically pass data from a dynamic table to a block using the visibility parameter. Let's start by creating a block from a text. In the Block Editor ribbon, go to the Action Parameters tab and select the Visibility parameter. Place it in front of the text and set the number of grips to 1. Open the Visibility States window. Rename the default state, then create a new one and assign it a name. Keep in mind that the dynamic block will use these names later. Place the appropriate text objects on each visibility state, then save the block. The data receiving block should include the required attributes, which will be used to store the names of the visibility states. Double click the attribute to open the attribute editor. Right click inside the value field and select insert field. In the field dialog, choose object, then click on the block and finally select its visibility property from the list. Perform the same steps for each of the remaining attributes. The background behind the attributes shows that they are inserted fields, meaning they contain dynamic text. You can test this right away by modifying the parameters and regenerating the drawing. It's very important to always copy the source and target blocks together. This method also works with copy-paste. The name of the parameter does not affect data transfer, so it can be changed later. The names of the visibility states will continue to be passed through. Thanks for watching.